Hi guys! I wanted to talk a little bit about an exercise called cross marching. Some people like to call it cross crawl. I think it's a fantastic exercise because it targets a lot of different skill areas. Bilateral integration, motor planning, balance, core strength, it's really awesome. I like to use this activity at the beginning of my sessions because it helps get both sides of the brain communicating with each other um, and gets my kids more available to learn. I'll often suggest this activity to teachers to use during their movement breaks and they also find it very helpful. Now for some of my kids, cross marching comes pretty easily to them. So I will implement some different ways to incorporate cross marching to make it a little trickier for them. Um, but most of my kids have a really difficult time learning cross marching and I'll go over some different um, suggestions to help make it a little easier for them so they don't get too frustrated. But first I'll let Matthew demonstrate to you how to cross march and how to make it a little trickier if it comes easy to you. Hello, this is Matthew and I am posting the first video that is called Cross March. Come on, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. How to make it tricky. Didn't Matthew do a great job? Now, in the next video, you'll see me working with a child who's just learning how to cross march. So there are some strategies that I use to help her learn the exercise. The first thing I did was set a timer. Often when I'm asking my kids to do a challenging task or something that's non-preferred, I'll set a timer so that they can see there's an end to the activity. This helps to alleviate some of the stress and anxiety that comes with doing a challenging task. The next thing I did was start her in a seated position. This way she could get used to the movements without having to worry about balancing. Another thing I did was put stickers on her hands and her legs. This was a great visual cue so that she could remember where her body was supposed to move. And then I also did hand over hand assistance where I took her hands and moved her body for her so she could feel what the movements were supposed to feel like. So please take a look at the video and see if you can recognize some of the strategies that I just talked about. So first, we're going to put stickers on our hands and legs. We'll put, what color do you want? Um. Rainbow? Okay, so we'll put one rainbow on your right hand and one rainbow on your left knee because those are the ones that match. Rainbow to rainbow. Okay, now pick one more color, please. Uh, blue. Okay, so we'll put one blue on your left hand and one blue on your right knee because blue goes with blue. Very nice. Okay, so... Yes! So we're going to practice our cross marching sitting down first to get used to it. And then if maybe if we feel good about it, we'll stand up, okay? All right, so I'll show you. You'll start with your hands up like this, and you'll go blue, rainbow, blue, rainbow. Let's do that five times. Ready? Blue, Oops. rainbow. Uh-huh. Good job. Blue. Blue. Rainbow. Rainbow. Good. Up. Two more. Blue. Blue. Up. Rainbow. Yes. All right. Ready? Blue. Uh. Find your blue stars. There's your blue knee. And where's your blue hand? And tap. Good. And rainbow. Yes. We're going to do three more and we're all done. Are you ready? Okay. Find your blue. Tap. Good. Put your hands up. 
Both hands up. Good. Find your rainbow. Yes! Up. Hands up. Good. Blue. Hands up. Rainbow. Hands up. Almost done. Blue. Hands up. And rainbow. Hands up. Oh, you did it. You did it. Oh, yeah. High five. Good job.